Our Myers here with Eddie Hearn, the empty auditorium mm. here in Echo Arena. That was a pretty weird press conference. Mm. We had water bottles used as metaphors. Yeah. We had David Hayes trainer going at Tony Bell. Yeah. And you giving a bit of trash talk yourself yeah. for yeah. talk about that. No, I was just um, sort of... Uh, he gave me a bit of stick, didn't he? In Bell, you hey one, and yeah. I just, I just, I was telling him the truth. I don't see the same person that I saw three or four fights ago. I don't see the same confidence. You know, Hay's a great fighter, a great athlete, but he's always had that swag. Mm. He don't seem to have it anymore. You know, he was nervous. He was stuttering a little bit. He didn't want to be here. He's trying so hard not to buy it because he can't fight off emotion this time. He can't make the same mistakes, and he has to win, or his career's over. I mean the. It has really changed. It is a complete opposite to the first fight. Mm. But you could argue that Hayes just as rattled as the first fight. Possibly, Give- yeah, because I think the first fight, he was rattled, but he was just being himself. Yeah. Now he's not being himself, but he's trying not to be rattled, if that makes sense. No, so 100%. I just think he thinks to himself, listen, last time he thought he won the lottery. He did win the lottery, actually, but he got beat. And he just thought, I can't believe I got this skybox off his fight against Tony Berry. And then he got beat. Now he's thinking... Tony can fight it. And if I lose, my career's over. So I think people around him are saying to him, don't get wound up. Just stay calm. Just enjoy it. Don't worry about it. But deep down, he wants to say, fuck you all. Really. And that's, that would be him. But, you know, you saw Sadass do that instead. If, if Bellew gets the win on Saturday, would you encourage him to pursue a, a future in the heavyweight division? It's all about the, the opponents and the right fights, you know. Um, he shouldn't fight AJ, he shouldn't fight Wilder. They're too big for him. You know, he's going to come in probably 14 and a half stone for this fight, so he can still make Cruiser. Um, but, you know... It's tough one, this, it is. talking about Tyson Fury. No, but That's listen, he... It is, but Fury ain't ready for Bellew. Fury would never... Then, And this is why I'm so pleased that Hayes made this fight and made it to fight week because my balls are on the line because I told Tony, don't worry about the Tyson Fury fight. He won't fight you. He's not ready. He wants to fight weak opposition, two or three of them. No, he said he'll take it. He he would never have taken it. So we would have been left with nothing and Hay was the right fight. He's got to put this to bed. You know, he boxed the guy who got injured who no no one gave Tony credit for beating Hay. Now they will when he beats him again. So this is the fight. Get this out of the way. Then we can start looking at everything else. But really, all that matters is Saturday. There's been a, a lot of backlash online about the pay-per-view um, terms and conditions mm. of Tyson Fury's fight. Have you seen what... No. Right, oh, have, they long, have they announced it? They've announced um, a new streaming service on uh, BT Sport, BT Sport Box Didn't they office. say it wasn't going to be pay-per-view? Well, what they have said is it's going to be £20 for just the Tyson Fury fight and £30 for the event as a whole. So £20 just for Tyson Fury's fight, that's what they've said. But that, didn't he say that it wasn't going to be a pay-per-view fight? From what I've seen, yeah. BT Sport announced that he's going to be paid for today. Yeah, well, not today, last week. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I might I'm not to, sure about I that. Might have to check my. Check fact. it. From, check from it. What I've seen. No. Uh, Coogan I've seen, says no. Is that, is that not true? Yeah. So uh, therefore, I hope you're right. Well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've but wrong. but uh, look, Fury's going to come out against some awful guys to start yeah. with. But listen, was, yeah. he has been out of the ring for a long time, so. But he, you can't call out AJ and Bellew and then go and fight Seferini, Seferiar and Nissa or whatever his name is. So How many fights do you think he has to have? He'll have he, well, he should have one and then get into a big fight. But he'll have three or four at that level. And then he'll look to have a cash-out fight. I mean, are you looking forward to getting into business with Frank Warren? No. Not at all? No, no. Listen, he may not be with Frank Warren in four fights. I don't know how long the deal is. Um, it, and we can make a fight with Frank Warren. Does it, it, listen, if there's a lot of money to be made changes people's attitudes so we'll see but first of all he's got to actually make it to the ring he's got to beat these guys that they put in front of him and then we'll see I mean as ever in the sport of boxing there was a lot of rumours that prior to the deal with Warren being made that you were pursuing mm-hmm. a deal with we spoke Tyson. yeah we spoke well. we went for opponents and it's just a non-starter you know I've, I get enough stick as it is he said so you know, many bad things about you yeah but it doesn't matter so did Amir Khan but That's most of most most of the time said. fury is playing a game like he he would never see me and not be not, not be laughing and joking not because well certainly not because he fears me but just because he's a, he's actually a nice bloke and a lot of it's just a game what you see with him is a front and he's you know he's a little bit crazy and but he's a, he's generally a good geezer but um doesn't we we could have worked together i worked with Khan. 
I may work with Fury again, but not with the guys that he wants to box at the moment. In other heavyweight news, we also have Dillian White versus Luis Ortiz mm. coming up in the future. Do you have a date in mind of when that's going to No, I mean, he's been ordered to fight Kubrat Pulev as well for the IBF final yeah. and, and Luis Ortiz for the WBC. So we'll see what happens over the next few days, but Dillian White's going to be in a big fight next for sure. What do you think about that fight? Good fight. Ortiz, good good fight. Do you good fancy fight. his chances in that? Yeah, it's a dangerous fight. I mean, Ortiz looked good, but you don't know what that fight took out of him. He's getting on. So uh, we'll have to see. Daniel Jacobs as well also fought on the weekend. You did mention uh, about a month prior to this fight that the possibility of him facing Jamal Charlo because mm. they got into some backstage mm. uh, altercation mm. and Jamal Charlo fa- facing Kel Brook. Mm. Is that still a Yeah, I think they're two great fights. I mean, I think Jacobs Charlo is a yeah. fight that might be very likely. But it was a good win for him in a tough fight. Um, obviously, he's now mandatory to um, Golovkin. But I think the Charlo fight is a big fight and we'll, we'll wait and see what happens. And what, what about the situation with Amir Khan? Because obviously the seed, the seed's been planted for a long, long time mm. now, but I believe that was the first time they were in the ring together. Last yeah, yeah, it was. It's a massive before. fight. You know, it's a huge fight, but you know, Amir's got plans to try and win a world title as well. So um, we'll have to see, but you know, it remains a big fight. Okay, well, thanks a lot. Cheers, Cheers mate. Just before you go, what's yeah. your thoughts? How did the Friday meeting go? There was no Friday meeting. They cancelled <laughs> it, unfortunately. Yeah. It's been a bit frustrating, but yeah, I had a, I had a good call today with someone, actually. and. Okay. We just need to know the answer to a few questions, that's all, before we can even think about whether we'd be interested in accepting the fight. Mm. Where it is would be, you know, mm. one to start with. Right. Um, but, you know, like I said, my job is to work for Anthony Joshua. He's the boss. He wants the fight. He'll have my advice. My advice is I think you should make the fight. Therefore, we're going to do everything we can to try and make it. Do you think it was a PR story, obviously, from the uh, from the oh, to world? I think team. they want the fight, but it's just... Right. The other bits are really confusing. Like, you know, when I said send a contract, you know, do they have to send a contract with the offer? No. But when I tell you I'm interested, can I see a contract? Like, if, if I, when I made my offer, if they would have said that to me, I would have sent a contract that day. If they would have asked me for a meeting, I would have met them instantly. So, I don't know. But, listen, we'll get to the bottom of it. Right, Eddie. All right, cheers, mate.